Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for with me Note 7. This time we have Yep ROM based on Android 16. So I never tried this ROM before. This is first time I'm trying it and I never heard of this ROM actually. But turns out it is actually a really good ROM for with me Note 7. I have been using this ROM about a week now. So as you can see here, Android version is 16. The security patch level is 5th of June 2025. Another information you can see here. The UI actually looks good. I really like the UI. Notification panel as you can see here. Looks good. But one thing which is not available on this ROM is the auto brightness option on control panel. So that is not available. And the setting UI as you can see here. Pretty much similar to all other ROM actually. In terms of network connectivity, everything seems to be working perfectly fine. Like Bo LTE, Bo Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Quick Share, everything is working. So no issue at all in terms of network connectivity. In that section, as you can see here, we get default apps, assistant, contact storage, unused apps, and special app access. No clone app option and app lock option available on this ROM. Notification, pretty much similar. In terms of sound and vibration, so it is working well, no issue. But we don't really get any kind of part app volume control here. But we do get special audio and Dolby Atmos option. Modes option is available. Display section. As you can see here, adaptive brightness is working perfectly fine. Dark theme and we got theming setting. So we are getting few customization option here like theme style and color source and whole plate and few things here. We are not getting any kind of dedicated customization option here. So few basic customization we are getting with this ROM are included in the default setting. As you can see here, few other options available here. Wallpaper and style. change wallpaper so we are getting only this wallpaper with this ROM the wallpaper looks good actually in the more lock screen setting we do get free option but no AOD storage by default it will take up to 15 GB of storage the battery so the battery is doing pretty well I haven't faced any kind of drain issue or anything like that the you will get solid battery backup on this ROM but the first charging is still not available it will charge at 10 watt only in the system setting we do get few customization option here so in the gesture option we are getting swipe to screenshot swipe to screenshot is working well no issue we got playback control and few other things here and in the status bar option we do get few other options here like double tap to sleep and clock position battery icon and few other things here and there in the miscellaneous option, we got advanced reboot option, backup transport and few other things. And we are not getting any kind of Xiaomi parts option here. In the security and privacy, we are only getting fingerprint unlock and which is working well actually, I haven't faced any issue. So fingerprint is working well and it's quite good actually, fast and secure. And we do get private space here. In the advanced protection option, we are getting this UI and in the mode security and privacy we get few options as you can see here app content extended unlock theft protection panic settings and sim log and few things usually we get app lock in this option but it is not available here location is working perfectly fine password and passkey options safety and emergency and accessibility all these things are pretty much similar to all other ROMs so nothing new here so we are not getting much customization option here but Actually, we are getting the basic customization what actually one needs. So, kind of good. In terms of application, as it is a GF build, so we do get few Google application here. But most of them actually have been installed here. Usually, it comes with Play Store. And we do get few ROM related application like Music and EASR. So, this is a call recording app. And one thing which is kind of really good about this application is that we can select the microphone so you can choose bottom microphone or back microphone so that's quite good and in terms of camera we are getting gcam go which is working well no issue at all as you can see here video recording and everything working well no issue at all and i did install a gcam here as you can see which is also working
video recording a little slower side but working well and the camera application which is working pretty well on this from it's like secure camera you can get it directly from play store it is fast and it works really well actually better than the gcam go and the gcam application so this one is better so you can try this one other things like in terms of phone call bo lt bo wi-fi working call recording is also working and you can make video call too so everything seems to be working perfectly fine on this rom and in terms of google photos we don't really get unlimited storage which is quite surprising for a custom rom to not to have this feature but fortunately the magic editor is working so if i try now enhance It is pretty slow but working i did try it before so as you can see here it is working well other things like in terms of google play product certification that is not a bible this one is one of the downside of this rom actually i haven't found much with this rom that making this rom unusable but this is the issue actually most of the rom does not come with google play product certification usually you can do it manually but it's quite difficult nowadays but anyway you will not be able to install bank application here or they are not going to work and if you want to use bank application you have to fix it manually and whatsapp is working well i haven't faced any issue i did try phone call and messaging so all these things are working well no issue at all in terms of other features we do get circle to search as you can see here circle to search is working in terms of gaming the gaming performance is quite good i haven't faced any issue like i did play call of duty here in default setting the performance was consistent no lag or hang anything like that and the performance is like can't be better than this so for gaming also this is a quite good rom and in terms of overall ui and everything as you can see here pretty smooth animations are good everything seems to be working perfectly fine no issue at all you might see a little hiccup here and there you can turn off animations if you don't want those lags in animation but otherwise it is a perfectly usable rom no issue at all no major issues so if you want to try this rom i would put the rom link in the description below that's all about it actually thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one